Hello everyone. Today we're back with another project and we built this beautiful Fuja Bender. The height of this Fuja Bender is 4 foot 10 inches and the width 40 inches. And the depth 24 inches. This project or Munder has three parts. The bottom part, the middle part, and the top. Some parts are the cabinets. Before jumping into the process of building, note that we are not professionals. If something's not done correctly, go easy on us. We did not find any DIY Mundare videos, so we created one. Feel free to improvise. We have started from the sketches to build this project. They don't know many things. Hey, we are foremost bumper. Here's the spreadsheet with all materials purchased from Lowe's with item numbers, descriptions, and hyperlinks. Here we're starting the foundation with 2x4s. We're going to need 4 pieces of 36 inch wood and 6 pieces of 9 inch wood. And the rough edges. Here's how we're planning to make the foundation. We have one slab of wood here. Now we're gonna attach this hardware to both sides of this 36 inch piece of wood. Attach this foot to the hardware. We wanna use this plate one and a half inch from the edge. We're gonna use this to mark it in the middle and marking the four edges. Filling the holes first. Now we want to attach the nine inch piece of wood to the 36 inch piece. 90 degrees. Now put marks for drilling. Now we're gonna drill three inch screws. going to be the back and we're going to join both of these sides with plywood. Let's start clamping. We're going to drill these screws into the wood. We're going to put this plywood on the foundation that we just built and put these four pillars on the plywood itself. Now we're going to have to put these pillars one and a half inch away from the corner. This diagonal lines corner to corner on bottom of all legs. Place this pillar on the corner and mark it on four sides. Now we're going to put a similar cross on the plywood board. Mark it on both sides of the board. If you measure from corner to corner in this square, it measures about a little less than four inches. So I marked the corners on the scale. Now we're going to have to put a dot right here and here to drill. marks on the leg. Going on the marks we made. Drill on the marks.
Drill on the top of the legs too. Pre-drill screws halfway through. We pre-drilled all the screws to the plywood and we're gonna attach these legs to the back of this plywood. And if you look on the back, we made squares too. So when we put this, it can align with the pillow. Align screws into leg holes and drill the screws all the way in. Put this side, put this, do this one. Remember, we have a one and a half inch gap here. This piece of wood is one and a half inch in width, so it aligns perfectly. We put the screws on the four sides, and we're gonna bring it down. Attach this plywood to the base. We want to make sure it's aligned, so we put it on its side. Marking circles on the plywood. Here we are marking the center point of the circle on the back side of the wood. Now flipping onto the other side. Draw along this line. Three drilling holes. Drilling screws halfway through. Pre-drilled screw to the leg. Yeah, okay, there. Yep, perfect. Yep. Okay, there. Yep. Slowly drill it all the way in now. All of them have flushed in nicely. Now we're gonna do the gold from the hardest part of the project. We're going to put this molding on the border of all the sides of this plywood. Gulpram slope is 60 degrees. Attaching wood in a T-shape. Cutting plywood for Gulpram. We cut a 60 degree angle on all the sides, which is six sides for the gopro. We're gonna cut the plywood on a 60 degree angle for this. Doing molding for borders on the top. Ranging and checking how it looks. Sanding rough edges. We had two ideas for the gopro base. We went with the second option. We did not screw T-shaped slopes to the plywood. Attach plywood to 2x4 wood in hammer nails. Attach border molding to plywood with construction adhesive. should be cut with compound angle. Google for compound angle calculator. For us, miter had to be at 27.3 and blade had to be at 37.3. This is for 59 degree slope. After attaching plywood, we ended up with 59 degrees for 60 degrees. Sand and attach bottom molding with construction adhesive and leave it to dry. Cut 3 4 inch molding at 45 degrees for the base. Attach molding with construction adhesive. Clamp it, but do not clamp tight. Hammer nails. Next, attach hanging molding on the top. 
measure and cut as needed. Sand and attack with construction adhesive and hammer nails. Cut molding 45 degrees for the base side frame. Attach frame with constructed adhesive and hammer. We nailed them, but we don't think it's required. Attach and gulper molding for sides. Clamp it and let it dry. We've arranged it and clamped it so we could see how it looks. Now we're going to glue it. On the back side, started from top to bottom. This is how it looks after drying. Top view. Working on cabinet base. Cut the wood for the cabinet floor. Marking to cut corners. Flush it in. Drill holes and screws. Working on the gold from top base. Measure and cut 3 4 inch molding to attach to sides. Wood glue to attach. Ready to place on top. We are not going to nail our glue. Gold from and top view. Working on doors for cabinets. Measure and cut as needed. Cut molding 45 degrees for the side frame. Attach them with construction adhesive and clamp it. Some crazy clamping. Our plan was to keep the doors together, leaving space on the outer sides. Attach doors as per plan, and here's how it looked. We did not like it. Hey. And it was rejected. Attaching knobs to the doors. We've got bigger feet, now we're going to attach them before we install the doors. Leave some space. Separating compartments with plywood. Fixing doors on the outer side. If we had a chance to redo this, we would have added a face front frame with hardware. Now we have gap between doors. Fill the space with another piece of wood and attach the ornament. Attaching ornament with clear Gorilla Glue and clamp it. Attaching ornaments to doors, sand glue and place some weight. Adding a frame to the top plank of the gold room, using wood glue to attach and clamp. Here's how it looks after drying. Now working on another top plank as shown in the top picture. Adding frame around the door to close the gap. Attaching ornaments to both sides of the base cabinet. Putting everything together to see how it looks. And it's getting heavy. Looks good, I like it. File sharp corners, if any. Drill holes to attach top craft fennel. Fill the screw holes with wood putty and fill in any gaps. File the corners to remove sharp edges. Top piece sits on a small plank as shown in the picture. Looks like we missed that video, but by now you should know how to make that. Going around the mud there.
Paintings, Bombay Mahogany. Cutting railing for the sides. Measure and cut the plywood for the back side of the mundar. Cutting plywood from the bottom and top part. Painting plywood. Painting only borders for the back side. Attaching plywood to the back sides of the cabinet. We'll paint again. After three rounds of painting, applying clear gloss for shine and to protect the wood. Used extra lighting to make sure we didn't miss anything. Finish final products. We love the outcome. Attaching back frame. Attaching railings with Gorilla Glue. Here's the final product. Here are the materials purchased from Lowe's for this project. Use $20 off of $100 purchase Lowe's coupons. We purchase $100 worth stuff every time we went to Lowe's. Five trips saved us around $90. Do not buy anything without coupon. If you like the content, hit the like button, share the video with family and friends interested in this kind of projects, and subscribe to our channel for more DIY projects. We will share this spreadsheet. Thank you for watching.